welcome back to my YouTube channel with me, your girl Morgan Tracy J. And you guys have been asking me a lot to give you guys like a day in the life. And so today I decided to give you a day in the life at my office, okay? And honestly, today is kind of a busy day. And so I thought this is the perfect time to just go ahead and vlog a lot of what we're doing today. And I just wanted to take you along with me. And right now we are a few minutes away from a magazine meeting. And so I'm going to go ahead and walk off in here, get ready for our magazine. Alex, my intern, which is behind the camera. You can wave at the camera, Alex, if you can see that. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> She's going to be the one behind the camera today helping me vlog a lot of this, what we're doing. And that's about it. So I'll see you throughout my day. Wait, is that my little magazine note? Where's my magazine note? Okay, it's up here. All right. We are going to talk today about additionals of the magazine also do we have the printout of the locations that i wanted this is a random meeting the reason i wanted to adjust it because i realized that our issue now is coming out in march and so a lot of these girls probably won't receive it until the end of march or early april mm -hmm. and so some of our titles have to be adjusted on our blog some of it says new year in christ or something like that so i'm going to walk through real quick and kind of just see the titles that i notice the accountability partner sister one is fine mm -hmm.
you guys, I'm getting ready to record a morning coffee and I honestly can barely remember it, okay? It was on a piece of paper and I can't really remember it, but me and Alex are getting ready to record this next one. I said, oh, the Lord's gonna have to take over. But the reality is sometimes when you're recording a lot of content, it's like things start to blur together, you know? That was kind of the situation. So I'm getting ready to record a morning coffee and we have already recorded some behind the scenes of our Insta story and things like that. So today is just a full content day because this is really the only day I've been in the office with my intern this week. Although she's not here tomorrow, I am. And so I'll be back in tomorrow to do more of the admin stuff. But today I'm trying to beast out as much content as I can. So I don't have to worry about that. And that's what I'm doing right now. So let's go. Trust Okay, you guys, my intern is on her lunch break, and I guess technically it would be my lunch break time, but I always work through mine because I've got work to do. Um, but right now, I'm still on a Daniel fast, and so I'm eating dried cranberry, walnuts, and almonds, and I also brought a pear. And I also brought a smoothie that has no added sugars, and it's just coconut, pineapple, mango, and banana. I technically could have made my own, but when I buy these, sometimes they're just a lot quicker um, versus trying to make one in the morning when I'm rushing. I'm so hungry. So hungry right now, honestly. But I've got work to do. We have a devotional. I need to get scheduled to go out today. Um, I need to send some stuff out and all that. And tonight we have a clarity and confidence call in my membership, which is like a QA. and a So I have that tonight that I need to walk through one more time. I already kind of outlined it and planned it, but I want to go through it one more time. And me and Alex have done some content today. We're still technically not done. Um... We're still recording this vlog and we've got some speaker stuff to do, devotional, but I'm so excited. Today's been such a blessed day. My first day in the office this week and honestly, I missed it. My master's classes are, they're a lot, y'all. Like, they're a lot. I don't think I was ready for all of this, but I mean, I'm here. I'm showing up for it. But they're a lot. A lot of reading. But anywho. I'm not complaining. I'm getting ready to finish snacking. Alex is going to come in here in a little while. We're going to do a little bit more work together. But the rest of the day is just like a work day. Hell. See you in a little bit. We got stuff on you. Receipts on people. They do no good. Don't conquer evil talking about you. attend Oral Roberts University and in this book he's talking all about the seed faith and how when you have at least a seed of faith you can produce some great things like a harvest but he specifically had this quote he said if you can conceive it and if you can believe it then you can receive it from God but it has to be something godly okay don't just say I'm gonna receive and conceive a Mercedes and maybe God wants you to be in a Honda boo okay so I'm just telling you to like understand that when you give these things to God first off you conceive it from God so for example my ministry was conceived from God it was beyond me and then I believed it for years and years even without any form of seeing any woman in my family in ministry or anybody um, I believed it and over time with grace with I was I received it and so I want to encourage you with that, that when, you know, inside of here and all what we do, I want you to see the seed faith of where it came from. First, God had to show it to me. But second, I had to believe it and I had to work towards it. And so the thing about it is the key here is just because you have the idea, if you don't believe it and if you don't work towards it, you will not receive it. 
So you got to believe it and you got to work towards that thing. So I'm here working towards what I've seen. All right. And so hopefully that inspires you that if you see something, work towards it, believe for it, and you will receive that thing. Boo. Okay. Kind of not should. We must work on our membership bundle called the speakers bundle coming in the membership in February. So the speakers bundle is teaching them how to position themselves as a speaker, how to create that page that shows them as a speaker, and also kind of some tips on how to take photos of themselves, like great headshots, things like that. Position them as a speaker. Girl, I'm thinking every time I see you now on, mm -hmm. it's going to be content days. Mm -hmm. So it's like all that week, I'm going to prepare at home and everything mm -hmm. when I, before I can come, and then bam, Thursday. Girl, I have a five. I have a proposal. Remember I called you the other day and I was asking you about um, what do you think, what the date for our binder? Remember at Black Binder, I was like, what's the mm -hmm. date? Because this year, believe it or not, it's five years of ministry. I saw you put that on. I was like, five years. Five years of ministry. Wow. God's good. God, I'm so, I just, I can't even believe it. And not only that, it's like five years. I'm finally speaking. I'm finally traveling. I'm finally in graduate school. Like I'm. <sighs> it's just so beautiful. So for this five years, girl, I've got some plans, okay? Yay! And so God, I asked God about it. He agreed. He said, bring it to me. I'll do it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, so, hold on. Five years of ministry. I want to. I can't wait to show <laughs> you this proposal I have. I've already kind of written up on a piece of paper somewhere. Okay, but anyways, for the membership, we're going to separate this. We'll do membership call tonight. So the ladies in my membership, they get a monthly Q&A Clarity and Confidence call with me. Mm -hmm. And the sucker is long, okay? So Clarity, clarity, and, conf uh, clarity and Confidence call mm -hmm. is like a Q&A. It's, it's actually a mix of talking. Mm -hmm. and But yeah, because my goal is before they get off, they have Clarity and Confidence. Copy. So, so if there's someone who's like, I don't know what to do, I'm so confused, da, 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 you give her Clarity, and then mm -hmm. you speak to her and you give her Confidence. So for the next month, she can go reap her results, right? Yes. Membership and oh, we're going to talk about our five-year anniversary. I can't wait to tell you about this, okay? But anyways, so, okay, anyways, let's talk about the membership. The membership tonight, we have our Clarity and Confidence call. The first thing I'm, we're going to talk about is, like, how to market. Because marketing is how you get noticed. So think about it. Um... In small towns, they have pictures pasted on TVs or walls, you know, like in front of the store. That's how you market. But the key with us tonight is we're not going to talk about, some of them girls market great. We're going to talk about the plateau. And the reality is the plateau is usually, that's God-led. Mm. And, and we hate it. I hated the plateau. Mm. But it's God-led. And there's going to be a few factors in our plateau. And you, oops. You won't get all this, but you'll get a glimpse, okay? Mm. But a few factors are, first off, it's for patience. And we see that as a fruit of the Spirit, right? Mm -hmm. In Scripture, I think it's Galatians 5, 25. It talks about the fruit of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. So God most likely needs you to get a fruit of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next thing is if it's not about patience, it's about your personal walk. So God knows he can't give you that thing yet because there's still some <clears throat> cracks in the foundation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so, so that's something we have to focus on.
is leaving for the day. Bye. You Bye. have a good one, and I'll see you next week. And if anything changes, I'll text you, okay, girl? All right, we'll do. All right, bye. Have a good one. I'm going to miss you. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Well, I'm pretty much done for the day. My intern has left. I had a little bit more scheduling of stuff to do, um, but I'm pretty much done for the day. Uh, I'm gonna probably tidy up a little bit. I don't have class today, thank God. I'm out of class today, but I do have an, a live Q&A tonight with the ladies in my membership. I had just walked through that with my intern and now I'm going to clean up. Golly, I have to run by the post office, do some stuff like that. Also, since I am on this 21 day Daniel fast right now, I'm not going to be uh, cooking dinner tonight because I have a lot to do tonight. I have editing, I've got this call, which is gonna be about an hour and a half. So call, editing, and some schoolwork. So I've got a lot to do tonight. And so um, if you're ever, if you're doing a Daniel Fast, I would encourage you to check out Qdoba or Chipotle, but get the veggie bowl where it's like your whole wheat rice, it's black beans or pinto beans with sauteed veggies and um, guacamole and some corn and some pico de gallo. I mean, it's pretty basic, but it hits. So that's what I'm gonna have for dinner tonight. I hope you really just enjoyed spending the day with me. So I'm packing up my stuff now, and I will say, um, this is a day in my life at the office that's pretty busy. Uh, sometimes we have a lot of chill time and we talk and we get to just pour into each other and things, but then other days it gets hectic and there's so much stuff that I'm believing God for right now and I'm trying to do, you know? And so this was just a day inside, but I hope you enjoy seeing some glimpses into the office because the reality is that's what we were having a meeting about. We're getting to do a full office revamp um, here in the next month and a half. And so we're getting ready for those things. And so I'm so excited to officially, once we get the full office revamped to show you the full office tour. And this year, we are come we just had a meeting about that we're coming up on our five year ministry anniversary you guys i cannot believe it's been almost five years <sighs> i'm so excited but i'm just so happy and so there's so many great things we want to do for our five year anniversary that we're getting ready for so there's just a lot going on and your girl's tired and hungry i'm hungry y'all your girl be hungry on this daniel fast i don't know about anybody else but on a daniel fast the the veggies just don't hit the same like you be hungry I am hungry a lot, Jesus, but you know what? But the Lord is my strength, and the word is like food to my navel, amen? But anywho, I'm hungry. So anyways, I'm getting ready to pack up, leave this office. I hope you enjoyed this week's vlog, boo, and I will see you in my next one. Thank you guys for going on the journey with me on this Fearless Friday. This week's Fearless Friday challenge to you, boo, is to show up. Even when you don't feel like it, even when you're tired and exhausted, and the reality is this morning I had to do a prayer to God that just asked for help. I'm just overwhelmed, overwhelmed, busy, a lot to do, and I just asked God for help. And so I had to do that prayer this morning because the reality is I can get overwhelmed. I can. And so if you're someone like that, I want to challenge you. My Fearless Friday challenge to you, boo, is not just take off running, but first to pray. I love you, ladies, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, boo. See ya. Pray for help. Pray for a window. Pray for open.